Dr. Kevin, how are we doing? Um, so the first reading is uh, quite high. All right. Uh, but it could also be because of anxiety yes. being in Absolutely. the studio. Absolutely, then and it's, it's, a lot so is happening at yes, the same time. Yeah. Too much of uh, the lighting. Yes. So usually when we get a high reading like this, mm -hmm. the recommendation is that we take another reading. Okay. And we see whether that uh, mm -hmm. the elevation that we are seeing mm -hmm. is actually sustained. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and just press it again. All right. And as we continue the discussion, we the, yeah. the pressure can be recording. Okay. All right. Yes. So let me then take your parting shot um, in the meantime. In terms of probably someone is watching us and thinking, yeah, but I have hypertension. I'm maybe not controlled, you know, or I'm having issues accessing treatment. Very quickly, how bad can it get? Um, so the, the risk of hypertension is real. Mm -hmm. And uh, for us as healthcare workers, what we advocate is that even before someone initiates uh, treatment, mm -hmm. look at the cost-benefit analysis. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you look at the 900 out of 1,000 shilling that yeah. you have to spend on medications, mm -hmm. but on the other side, you don't look at the complications that could arise. arise because this. once complications from hypertension set in, mm -hmm. then they become even more expensive to mm -hmm. treat. If someone has kidney failure, then now you're on dialysis throughout. Yeah. That's a lot more expensive. Lot more expensive yeah. If someone gets a stroke, you are paralyzed, mm -hmm. you depend a lot on mm -hmm. uh, other people for your care. Or if you get heart failure, mm -hmm. So the cost of treating complications is way higher than uh, mm -hmm. the cost of treating uh, hypertension, hypertension before yeah. the complications. Yeah. So just try and, so just try and uh, cope. Mm -hmm. Government facilities offer uh, services that are relatively affordable. Mm -hmm. So I think that should be the bulk of our care uh, mm -hmm. in terms of uh, people with uh, hypertension. hypertension. That's okay. where we should get. All right. Yes. Um, and I, do we have the number ready? No, I got an error, so I'll okay. take it again. Okay. That happens a lot. Yeah, because I want her to, 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 to do her parting short, so I don't know if that will <laughs> <laughs> It will. Yeah, it will affect it will, the, yeah. the pressure. <laughs> okay. When we take pressure, someone needs to be quiet. Yeah. Yes, and a okay. uh, key aspect is they should be seated, yeah. the arm resting on a, a surface like this, uh -huh. the legs should not be crossed, okay. uh, they probably should not have, uh, if they are people who smoke, they should not have smoked mm -hmm. or taken a beverage. Mm -hmm. If someone just took coffee a short while back, the pressure will be it high. Will be higher. Yes. If you have a full bladder, for instance, yeah. the pressure would be high. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yes. So right. there are because many things lot, that someone yeah. needs to do before you before actually you have your, your uh, pressure check. Yeah, so that okay. you get a correct reading. Okay. So then I think then I'll, I'll just take this. So she can go ahead. Finish. I think okay. we have a reading. This time it's much lower than the uh -huh. first one. All right. Um, but it's still a bit elevated. Okay. Okay. All so right. when we take the average of the two readings, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then we can still say that her pressure control is not adequate. Okay. And therefore we need to. Uh, put in mechanisms either to adjust mm -hmm. the doses of her current medications okay. All right. or look for alternative medications to okay. give her. To give yes. her. All right, so um, Christabel, let me just take your part short in like 30 seconds, mm -hmm. um, actually 10 seconds. I mean, having, um, you know, being on this journey with hypertension, what would you say to all the people watching us um, today? First, they should go for the diagnosis. Mm -hmm. Every time they see they see a, a medical facility somewhere. Mm. Just walk in, ask the nurse, ask the doctor, mm -hmm. want to have my blood pressure checked. Mm -hmm. That way you'll, uh, you'll control a lot. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's Cause, free, right? Because uh, so many people are just walking dead. Yeah. So many of them are walking dead. Yeah. yeah. So don't do that. Don't do that to yeah. yourself. Okay, it's, it's free. Um, yes. Checking your yes. blood pressure yeah. is free. It's okay, free. so go to a health facility near you, get your blood pressure checked. And um, it's better for you to know your numbers. Like we said, it's important for you to know your numbers, measure your blood pressure, control it, and live long. Unfortunately, we have to say goodbye. Time really, really flies. But we say thank you for coming by today and, and really just helping us understand how important it is to just understand our numbers, even as we celebrate World Hypertension Day. So I hope you've learned a lot from today's um, you know, conversation. Special thank you to all of you. Christabel, thank you very much for even accepting us to measure your blood pressure on TV. <laughs> we say thank you.